Hi, I'm Elle McCann of Curious Themes Web Design Studio, and in this video tutorial we are going to be going over Google Analytics and some different areas that you need to look at and be aware of in your Google Analytics backend. So in the previous videos that we've done and released on YouTube, we have gone through how to set up Google Analytics for your Shopify store and also how to set up goal conversions for when someone places an order on your site. So now we're going to actually be going into the back end of Google Analytics and reviewing this data and kind of looking at all the information that is there and some key things that you need to actually look at. So we are at our Google Analytics back end and I'm signed in so it's just google.com backslash analytics and we logged in and then here I have a few different site profiles that are already set up for different clients but we're going to just go to our curious themes all website data. So here we have an overview of the audience page. So the main thing that I wanted to really tell you about Google Analytics is that there's a whole lot of information being collected, especially once you tie in your Google AdWords account or your Google Webmaster tools. There's just a lot of information being collected and stored here. So don't worry about having to look at every single area and know what everything is, but there's just a few key areas that I want you to focus on, especially as you're beginning to get familiar with Google Analytics. So the first is going to be the audience overview. So here we see the graph of our session, our sessions overall, and we can see the number of sessions that we have, how many pages someone viewed whenever they came to our site on average, the average length that they stayed on our site, and bounce rate. We also see a ratio of new visitors versus returning visitors. And the great thing about Google Analytics is up here in this right hand corner, we can change this and actually compare date ranges. So we can compare this month to last month and so on. Also you can see if you have a big website spike, it may be whenever you have a, a promotion launch or let's say for, for Black Friday or other holiday shopping events, you'll see that spike so that you can kind of see exactly day by day what your traffic is to your site. So this is a great place to start in terms of kind of getting an overview of your audience. You can see as we scroll down here there's more information in terms of the language that's primarily done and a great thing for brick and mortar businesses is under demographics if we do country. So I'm going to click on that and you can see here that United States is the top country. So I'm going to click on that even more and show you the breakdown. So here it actually breaks it down in the actual US. So here we can even see the different areas of the US, the different state breakdown of all of the traffic coming from these different states. You'll see the state listed here as well as the session and the bounce rate of that as well. So we can get even more specific and if we click on the actual state, so I live in North Carolina so I'm going to click on that and we can see actual areas of North Carolina. So if you scroll down here as well, you can see the actual breakdown by city, which is going to be really helpful for brick and mortar businesses. So another area that we want to also look at in the Google Analytics backend is acquisition. So we're going to click on that and click on our overview. And here you can see where people are actually finding you from. So the sources that are sending the most traffic to you. So we see a breakdown over here in the graph of referral traffic, direct traffic, as well as organic search and social. And if we click on these, we can see these even more. Now some people will disagree with me on this and say that it's really good to have one big driving factor to your site. However, I think it's best to have a mix of everything because then if you were, for example, doing just paid advertising or organic search were the only things that were sending traffic to your site, if the algorithm was changed by Google, then that's definitely going to impact your traffic that you're sending to your site. So if you have a nice mix, you're not going to have these huge hits whenever the search engines do update their algorithms. So we are going to hit referral and here we can actually see a breakdown of the top sites that are sending traffic to our site. And we can see again the actual source here and the sessions and the other information over here as well as a day-by-day -day breakdown. 
Another great area to look at is going to be behavior overview. So we're going to scroll down a little in the left hand column and click behavior and click overview. So this is showing the top pages on your site, which is a great thing to know. So if you see just the backslash, that's going to be your home page. And then you can see also the other top ranked pages on your site. So these may be pages, it may be products or collections or maybe blog posts that are getting the most page views. And you can actually see the page breakdown over here. So that's really great to see if you have a, a page on your site maybe your about page that you're really kind of not using to its fullest extent, you can actually go in and see, okay, that there's a lot more page views than I expected to that. So I'm going to go in and add a little bit extra information, maybe also feature our top products or our Instagram feed there as well to get more benefit of people seeing that page. So this just gives you a really nice breakdown of your site and how people are really interacting with it. And the last area that we're going to look at is conversions. And we're going to scroll down and hit the goals overview. So we set this up in a previous video that we released to YouTube. And this was actually setting up Google goal conversions for our Shopify store in terms of when someone places an order. So we don't have this set up on this site. However, that is a great thing to set up on your e-commerce store so you can see exactly where people are in the process of purchasing from your site. So if they add it to your cart and then they leave your site, you can actually see that you're losing people on the cart page and maybe add some additional things, a feature about free shipping or something like that to get them to actually go on into the full checkout area. So that's great to see the goal conversions in terms of how your overall traffic is converting. And that is in another video that I highly recommend you go through. So overall, there is just a lot of information in Google Analytics, like you can see from the sidebar as I scroll, there's a lot of stuff over here, as well as real-time analytics, so you can see exactly how many people are on your site at this very moment. So I wouldn't get too overwhelmed with trying to know everything that there is about Google Analytics and going through and knowing all these different areas, but more just focus on a few key areas and getting a better feel of how people are interacting with your products and your site content.